Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day 8 for our F5 LTM series. So in this video, we are going to understand the ratio based load balancing. So in my previous video, I have covered how exactly a round robin works, like the round robin load balancing. So in this video, we are going to cover what exactly a, a ratio based load balancing is, how exactly it works, how we are going to configure it and we'll see with the help of a practical lab. Okay, so I'll highly recommend you to please watch this video till the end because um, you will get an idea how exactly a ratio based load balancing works and how we are going to configure in real world environment. And also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me. So without any further delay, let's get started. So friends, now we'll understand what is ratio based load balancing and how exactly it works with the help of this image. Okay. Now, basically, uh, let me tell you the structure. So first of all, the nodes will be there. So for an example, you just understand these blue, the round circles are nodes, right? Okay. And these nodes are combined into a pool. Okay. Now this pool will be called under uh, virtual server, right? Now the virtual servers will be particular uh, the IP address where we'll configure the IP address and the client will be accessing the virtual server, right? Now the virtual server is the IP address the client knows. Okay. Now after that, the load balancing will take the pool and after that, the node will be taking care after that the load balancer will take care of that now to understand ratio based load balancing first of all why we have to do ratio based what exactly it is okay so ratio based is something that we will define according to the connection okay so let's say we have let's say four members as you can see there are four members over here okay now I want to send 10 connection to this node. I want to send five connection to this, two connection to this, one connection to this. Why we are going to send like this? So five, three, two and one, right? Why we are going to do like this? So to know and un uh, to understand about these thing, first of all, we need to understand the server. Okay. So let's say I bought a server. Today I have bought a server or for an example, if I try to understand from your perspective or from our perspective, like the individual perspective, maybe I'll get a laptop today. Okay. It has a specs of let's say 4 GB of RAM or something in maybe 2012. Okay. And I see that no, I like this laptop is like uh, old. Now I need to get a new laptop. Now basic configuration of a laptop right now, or maybe in 2018 would be 8 GB. Now I need now a, a new laptop for this. I have a 16 GB, which is a default. Wherever I go for any uh, high range laptop, I'll be getting 16 GB of RAM. So what the specs are getting increased, right? Now, whatever the work this laptop was doing, it will be double for this and it will be double if I compare with the second laptop. Same way, the servers also be like that. So in that case, I if I'm sending five connection, I'm just telling you a five connection. That means 5000 connection, right? So if I am distributing like this, the lower the specs will be the lesser the connection or the uh, yeah the connections i'll be sending to the server right so it depends on what specs the server is having accordingly i'll process the traffic and this is what the ratio based load balancing means over here and this is how we cannot de demolish the particular server and send out of the organization 
because we are paying the support we are paying for the maintenance and all those things why should we waste or the servers are loaded over there like the softwares are loaded over there so why to waste those servers will use it and will do the load balancing according to their specs so basically if we try to understand the highlight of or what is the point to understand the ratio based load balancing is nothing but according to your specs what you are having the ratio based load balancing will help you to understand the requirement of your system okay and you can manually decide how much connection that you want to send to this machine this machine or this machine or this machine so you just understand the ratio over here so the let's uh, for, uh, I'll, I'll make it very very easy for you guys so first three connection will be here then two then one then one same three connection again here then here then here then here so basically there are uh, if you try to understand the number maybe you can pause the video and you can understand so first second third fourth then fifth sixth seven eight nine ten eleven something like that is just going so if you try to understand the ratio this is how it works exactly I'm j I explain you in a very easy way so that you can understand it. Okay. So that is a gist. If you have like 10, 5, 7 connections. So 3 connections will be going to this. 2 connections will be going to this. 1 and 1. Like this. That's it. Okay. Now we'll go to the lab and we'll understand how we are going to configure the ratio based load balancing. This is a very, very easy way. We just need to change some of the parameters and it will be done so we will be we are using the old topology i'll explain you how it is and then i'll configure it okay so yeah let's go to the lab now so friends uh, we are going to the lab now uh, so this is the topology that we have used for round robin and we are using for ratio based load balancing as well okay so same lab we are using and we have already configured the virtual server which we have already did it in the previous video. So what I can do is I will recommend you to please watch my previous video which was day 7 and what I can do is you can find it in i button or I can put it in the description uh, box. You can find the day 7 link and you can go and check that out. Okay. So virtual server I have already created, I have created the pull, I have created the node, everything is done, only we have to change the load balancing as a ratio based load balancing, right? So what we have to do is, we have to go and uh, we have to explore that particular big IP, how it is done, okay? So before to that, I just wanted to clarify some, some of the things. So you just consider this one as a outside. So somebody coming from internet, they are going to access the virtual server. We have pull inside that and we have node inside that. Now in the node, I have mentioned the server one, server two, server three, and it is accessible. So this is inside. And this is a management I am accessing from my PC to this big IP. So let's get into the dashboard of big IP. Okay. So maybe login. I will just log in admin and I will put the password. Okay. So right now, as you can see, this is my virtual server. This is the pool and did the pool inside that one, two, and three. Three servers are there. Okay. Now I'll show you the virtual server. What is there? So virtual server, this is the very basic configuration that I have source. I have allowed everything destination. This is so the this machine will be accessing on 200.1.10, right? Port number 80 HTTP S uh, uh, 
TCP everything. So it is a very default configuration that I'm using. Okay. And in the virtual server, I'm calling the server pool. So if I go to the pool, I have only server pool and in server pool, I have a member of server one, server two and server three. Okay. Now what we are having load balancing method. So we are changing this load balancing method to ratio member or we have ratio nodes as well. So what is the reason behind this node member and node uh, sorry ratio member and ratio nodes. Okay. I'll talk about ratio recession, uh, least connection and ratio. These are the dynamic load balancing, right? <clears throat> and whatever we are talking about, it, it is a manual load balancing. Okay. So if I talk about members, okay, what happens is when you open this node information, you can define the ratio over here. Okay. So if you consider this one, if you consider ratio node, so whatever the node are having, whatever the node having the ratio, it takes that particular uh, number. But if you do it on the member side, okay, if you do this, you have to define here. So you have to update and you have to define here that what is so for server one, I'll just mention as three. Okay update okay and then again i'll go to the member two which is server two i'll make it as two right update same i goes for this and i'll make it as so three two one so what was the first three connection will be going to server one then two and then one okay so this is how the ratio base load balancing gets configured and I'll show you in a practical lab how uh, when we test this we are going to see how the load balancing is working in this. So basically when we go to the lab the test machine will open the test machine and what I'm going to do is I'll open all the browsers okay this one and this one all the browsers. And what I'm going to do is I will delete all this. Okay, I'll clear all the caches and all those things. Let me do that. I will do it for this as well. So delete everything. Okay. And I will do it for this as well. So not last hours all time clear now and I'm going to try I'll, I'll try to access. So what was the IP address? So the IP address was 200.1.1.10. Okay. So I will go here and I'll just put the IP address 200.1.1.10. Right. This was the IP address, yeah. So first I went to the server two, right? Now I will just go here and will type 200.1.1.10. I went to server one. And I will go to 200.1.1.10. I went to server three, okay? Now I'm going to refresh this server one, server one, server one, server two, server two, server one, server one. Now I'll try to see the stats. What is happening? So we'll go to the stats and we'll try to see. So if you try to understand over here, total, we have how many connections Four current connection out of that two is with server one okay so server one is having two connections 
server 2 is having two connection currently we will be not having any connection for server 3 but maximum went for 4 2 and 2 right so if i try to refresh as well if you try to understand okay and if i try to refresh this and this one as well and this one as well okay now if i try to refresh this so it has not been refreshed alone so now we can see zero connection with this and this is six six and four so basically we cannot say uh, basically the browser works the way we are not expecting so i'll i'll try something different uh, maybe i'll try i'll try to set up ssh server and try to check that so we cannot say how the browsers so the edge works in a different way the chrome works in a different way so all the other browsers works in a different way we cannot predict what but i can see that and i can i can tell you that what we have assigned uh, there was a three two one right so right now as you can see the maximum what uh, the server ha is taking server two and server one is taking the lesser right so that is the reason i can say that uh, there is a connection which is getting distributed not evenly but as the ratio what we have defined right so this is what how the ratio basically works maybe i'll just refresh it again and i'll try to access access it okay so i'll just refresh this and we'll see so basically as you can see a12 a85 right so as you can see the connections the more the connection is and you will be having a more visibility then only you will be able to understand that the connection are distributed as per the ratio what we have defined okay so guys uh, this is a manual way of doing the load balancing and i have covered the round robin as well as the ratio based load balancing this is what i wanted to cover in this video if you have liked this video please hit the like button if you have increased your knowledge please put it in the comment if you have any suggestion please put it in the comment or you can send me an email or maybe you can send me a message on instagram facebook wherever you want thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one